This is day two of Dimdex 2016. Let's now get on board USS Ponce, a former US Navy LSD converted into a float forward staging base. Good afternoon, I'm Captain Ken Riley, uh, Commanding Officer of the USS Ponce. We're the Float Forward Staging Base. Um, we were previously a dock landing ship personnel, uh, LPD-15, and uh, we've been redesignated as AFSBI-15. We're the interim uh, vessel between uh, what we used to use for a Float Forward Staging Bases and what the Navy is planning on using in the future. Uh, which are some previous Alaska-class tankers which have been modified with flight decks and uh, personnel spaces. So unlike a regular U.S. amphib that primarily embarks and um, uh, employs Marines, we are capable of bringing on our Army assets, uh, Coast Guard, Air Force, uh, both air and uh, surface vessels, and we've done that in the past. Um, we continue to do that with U.S. assets, and we're also capable of bringing on board our foreign partners as well. So uh, we are um, the Mine Countermeasures uh, Command Ship for the Gulf, uh, the U.S. forces. Uh, we can embark a full staff on board, provide communications for them uh, to reach back to their shore facilities, as well as bring them out into the environment uh, so that they can provide close command and control over their mine sweeping assets. We have the capability to embark the MH-53 uh, mine sweeping helicopters, so they tow mechanical gear, they also tow uh, search gear, so side scan sonars uh, from the back, and they also employ uh, airborne mine neutralization systems so they can go out and uh, not only sweep and hunt, but they can neutralize the mines as well. And we provide the bandwidth and the communication pipes to do that from sea. One of the key features of USS Ponce is the LAWS, a prototype laser weapon system. Let's now hear from the laser weapon officer in charge. Well, hello, uh, my name is Lieutenant David Wayne from the USS Ponce. I am the laser weapon system officer in charge of our small detachment of four people. I work in conjunction with Naval Surface Warfare Center Dahlgren. Uh, they're essentially the engineers that developed the laser weapon system. Now, the uh, laser weapon system has been deployed on the USS Ponce since August of 2014. Last year, around May, June timeframe, we did an operation called J-Flame, where we shot down three UAVs to show the lethality of the system. Uh, since then, the system has been working perfectly. Right now, it's a prototype weapon. So, you know, what you see is what you get right now, but, you know, the lessons learned from here will be applied to future weapon systems. The main mission sets are generally UAVs and uh, small uh, fast attack craft. So small water boats, uh, and it's mainly as an anti-materials weapon. Well, for one, it's a laser, so it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty awesome in itself. But there's a low cost uh, component, there's precision. So with uh, kinetic weapons, with bullets and whatnot, uh, you always have that potential of collateral damage. With a laser weapon system, it's incredibly precise. And, uh, and we were able to know how much power we put on target and, you know, what the target is. And it's a $1 per shot. So it's not something that, uh, that is even remotely in comparison to the amount of money that we have to spend for, you know, missiles and, and ammunition. So it's a, it's a cheap weapon uh, to use. Uh, but, you know, like science, it's being developed for, uh, you know, this is a... a the first stages of you know future technology for solid state lasers we are now on the flight deck of USS Ponce with several scan eagles on display so let's find out about these UAVs 
My name is uh, Lieutenant Tim Nank with the United States Navy. Behind me on my right is our Scan Eagle demonstration, which is a uh, UAV aspect to uh, surve our surveillance missions. Uh, well, we do various types of missions, uh, basically surveillance. Uh, some of it can be humanitarian, some of it's recon, search and rescue. Directly behind me is the launcher. Once the Scan Eagle is uh, powered up, uh, you place the bird onto the launcher. Uh, it then acts as a catapult at about 50 miles per hour, which launches it into the sky. The UAV, the Scan Eagle, then begins its mission, flies for about at most uh, 20 hours, depending on the altitude, 40 to 50 miles, also based on the altitude. Recovery uh, is also behind me, is uh, basically with a line that hangs down from the top. There's a GPS system both on the bird and on the top of the crane. Uh, they communicate with each other and uh, the bird itself comes back to the crane. Uh, because the wingspan is about four to feet long, it's hard to miss the line and at the end of the wing, there's a clip that uh, catches on to the rope. Once the rope catches it, stops the bird immediately, cuts the engine, and it just drops and hangs about halfway uh, up the line. And then we lower it, and uh, it's a 45 pound uh, unit, the, the bird that is, so it's fairly lightweight. We just carry it off and put it back on its stand. We'll now get briefed about the small arms aboard the USS Ponce. My name is 83 Romain. Behind us we have the M2HV. HV then denotes heavy barrel for the system. Um, the rounds it uses is 50 caliber rounds. Total length of it is at 65 inches, total weight 82 pounds uh, when it's fully put together. Uh, this is our primary weapon defense system aboard the ship for anti-craft and anti-personnel. Uh, outside of that, we also have the M240. M240 is the predecessor to the M60. It took over a while back, but the best thing about the M240 is it's more mobile. We can move station to station, cover fields of fire that are open, and it's more or less mobile. Hi, I'm Jam 2 Nose above the USS Ponce. Behind me, we have the Mark 38, also known as the 25 millimeter. Max range for the Mark 38 is around 16,000 yards. It can be controlled remote as well as manual. You can move it, uh, the train, which is up and down, as well as from side to side. In the event that we needed to use the Mach 38 manually, we would go to the iron site to view our target. 